The bitterness of beer is predominantly derived from hops used in the brew house and from any addition of hop extracts used during downstream processing. It's the isoalpha acids from the hops that are the major source of bitterness. Bitterness can obviously be tasted, but other characteristics of beer, such as sweetness, can interfere, so it's difficult to get an absolute value. For any analytical method, it is best if we can measure it instrumentally. Bitterness is usually measured in the laboratory using either the iso-octane extraction method or HPLC. The important aspect of measuring bitterness in our beer is that we don't produce foam. Foam contains significant amounts of iso-alpha acids, so they'll be lost during excessive foaming. For the analysis, a 10 ml aliquot of beer is carefully added to a centrifuge tube. A small amount of HCl is added to acidify it, and some octanol may be added to reduce foaming. Then 20 ml of iso-octane is added, and the tube vigorously shaken. The iso-alpha acids are more soluble in iso-octane than the aqueous phase, so they're extracted into the iso-octane. So it's very important to get really good mixing to ensure complete extraction. This mixing can either be done by hand, but it's hard work and tedious. You can buy wrist shakers, which will do a lot of it for you, although we found vigorous mixing in a small flask works just as well. After the extraction, the sample is usually centrifuged to separate the phases, and we take the top isooctane phase. Our spectrophotometer is zeroed against isooctane using a quartz cuvette. The quartz cuvette allows us to read in the UV spectrum. The spectrophotometer is set at 275 nanometers, and as I said, zeroed, and then we read the iso-octane that we have used to extract our beer with. The reading from the spectrophotometer is multiplied by 50 for iso-alpha acids derived from kettle boiling. Tetrahop and other hop extracts may have different conversion factors. Some preservatives such as benzoates and potentially dry hopping can also interfere. So under these circumstances, HPLC is advised. The results that we obtained from this bitterness extraction are termed international bitterness units.